some older Brooks, 11 bucks. It's a little bit too much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on guys, Dalton here and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time catching the channel, I'm a full-time shoe reseller. And what that looks like is I basically make my living going to thrift stores and flea markets looking for shoes that I can buy, clean up, and then resell online for a profit. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Me and Carly are headed to a couple Goodwills, maybe a few different thrift stores, and see if we can find some profitable items. But first, I've got some shoes to ship. We just came off of the Black Friday weekend. A ton of sales this weekend. I think I have 50 pairs of shoes going out. Carly's got like 20 items going out. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what my shipping process looks like. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm back at the storage unit. Basically I have the same setup that I used to. I still bring my laptop here. Got the uh, Rolo. I know it's the wireless version, but I can't print wireless here. So it just plugs into my laptop. And that's why it wasn't printing because I didn't plug it in. And then to get power here, cause I know everybody always asks, I just use this little portable generator. Uh, just needs enough juice to power the printer. And then I get signal on my laptop by using the, uh, what's this called? a hotspot on my phone. So I'm going to first put away all the shoes that I listed that need put into inventory, and then we will pull all the sales. All right, so to pull pack or pull packages, pull sales as efficiently as possible, got this nifty little bad boy so I can just scroll through here and not use up my hands. Amazing, again, linked in the description if you want it. And then I got this little wheelie rack, this is new, um, just so I can like have somewhere to put all the inventory as I pull it. And then when I would go to ship, it's all right there in front of me and there's no like grabbing stuff off the floor like I used to and this can slide all the way through to the back of the storage unit. And then as for the um, inventory system, I'm not gonna go over that. I've made a video on that in the past, I'll just link that up in the top. Go ahead and show you guys this sale that came in last night. Get this clothespin out of my house so you can hear me. This is a new brand. The first time picking it up. Funny story, I actually seen this at a Goodwill one time. Seen that Santoni logo on the bottom of a pair of shoes. I was actually wearing my GoPro. Had no idea what the brand was and got roasted in the comments for not picking it up. This time I picked it up, picked these guys up, and I sold these on eBay for $200. I'll throw a comp up on the screen. Listed them at $300. I paid $30. Uh, listed them at $300 when I got that $200 offer. Obviously, profit's there, so I went into Took that. All right, E4. This is another um, new brand to me. Uh, it's been on my radar, but it's the first time I've found it. I'll get in the light so I can show it to you. Uh, brand is Zeba. I actually found it new with tags the first time ever finding it. These were $40 at Goodwill uh, in the glass case. And I, within like a week of listing, I got an offer for $90 plus shipping. So over doubled my money on these. Good brand to keep an eye out for. Here's another good brand for you guys to keep an eye out for. I'm not gonna walk over to the light. Brand's uh, Halflinger. I guess I probably should. That's kind of rude to just say it and not show it. There you go, Halflinger. They make these wool clogs. Uh, I can't remember what these sold for. 40, eh, it's right here in front of me. They sold for $41 plus shipping. Um, and that was on a heavy disc. That was with the uh, discount I was giving out on Black Friday. I think I listed those at 60. So those sold almost instantly when I sent out that uh, coupon. All right, so now that I got all of the shoes pulled, and right here, um, all I gotta do now is just print off the labels, match them up, get the boxes put together, and then box everything up. That's how I do my shipping. Carly, how do you do your shipping? Well, I usually box his boxes up for him. You don't tell people that. You don't tell people that. Anyway, all right, so now I'm just gonna print off. I got ahead of myself uh, last night. Since I had so many labels to print, I already printed off the bulk of them, but I still have a few more to print here. And again, just gotta match them with their respective sales. Two hours later. Just wait till you see my car. Like, this isn't even all the packages. They don't even know. They don't I'm even not, know. I have to, like, ride on the roof. Yeah, Carly's not going to fit in the car. So I really have no idea how we're going to fit all this in the car because I ran a Black Friday sale on shoe trees. If you uh, didn't catch it, um, I made a post on YouTube about it. I didn't mention it in a YouTube video. It was kind of a last minute thing. You're probably missing out on these deals. I sold like 45 shoe trees. Um, but since I didn't mention it in a video, if you use the code late to the party, I'll give you a little discount on your next order of shoe trees. So we have to somehow fit all of these packages in here with these packages. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Carly might not be coming with me. We made it happen. Just barely fit everything. And Carly only has to hold this one Ikea bag on her lap. So she's not gonna get stuck in the storage unit. I don't have to sit on the roof. All right, so now we're gonna go drop these off and hopefully make it to some thrift stores and fill the car up again, but this time with unsold shoes, right? Huh? 
And now the moment you've all been waiting for. We have made it to our first Goodwill. Look how look how nice this building is. Carly said she's been in comments on TikTok that this place looks expensive. Yeah. And by golly, let me tell you, it is expensive. Hopefully I can find some good shoes here though. Usually the more expensive ones are usually having better inventory. You like how I structured that sentence? Yeah, it was great. Better inventory, but we'll see, we'll see. Yo, found some Nightmare Before Christmas vans. These are sick. They are $7 all day. Some older Brooks, 11 bucks, it's a little bit too much. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I don't know if I recorded, but I found these. They didn't have the right insoles in them, but I peeled it back and they are Rothy's, just have replacement insoles. Everything looks good. Stitching looks good. They're made in China. Um, Rothy's should be made in China. If they say made in the USA, they are fake. These are also made in China. Stitching looks solid. Let's go, let's go. Got two pairs of Rothy's. Also, I wasn't recording when I picked these up, but I got a couple pairs of Vans. They're just like classic colors. They are $13, though, which is kind of expensive. So I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to spend that much. Um, I mean, they, they'll they double my money on them at least, but it's still expensive for Vans. Cole Hans for 17. Well, of course, after that last clip, my GoPro decided to freeze up. So I'll just go over everything I picked up. Carly got these Gymshark pants that you guys missed. They were, They're what's that, 450 after the discount? You guys seen the Rothy's I grabbed. I picked up these Beezies. Um, again, these are half off, only $5. So it's a good price for Beezies. They don't sell for a lot of money, but they ship first class. You guys probably know those if you follow me. Got these Leather Sperry's. These ones are $8.50 after the half off discount. Uh, men's size, good condition. Again, they're all leather. You know, Sperry's another one that doesn't do amazing, but the leather ones don't do too bad. Found some Allen Edmonds. I don't know about this model, the Lafayette, but they are brand new. So, I mean, pretty dang close to brand new. Um, so these can't be not worth picking up. I got some Echo sneakers, $10.99. I'm seeing a little stain right there, so these might get put back. I still need to go through everything, so I guess we can do that together. Got those. I'm going to that iron. Okay. Um, I need to look these up. These Ubuntu's, um, they are Lion King collab. They're only like $5.50, so I need to see, see about those. And I guess, oh, she's not trying down here. Got some Adidas, 11 bucks, excellent condition. Um, some kids Tevas for five. These Pumas were another one that was half off, 650. And these Rainbows, need to, need to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's a good price for these. Rainbows, a good flip flop brand. And I don't know if you guys seen these Nightmare Before Christmas fans. On these uh, New Balance Venters, not familiar with this model, but they're only 15 bucks. And again, great condition on the bottom, so. Probably gonna grab those, and I guess I better take a second to look up these Ubuntu's. It's the same size. Yeah, they are. You are there, these sold for 55 plus shipping. This model is probably a little better though. Let me check Poshmark. The listings on Poshmark aren't too bad. Uh, there's one for 35. There's one for 30. I don't know. I might take a chance on them. They're only five bucks. We're gonna see how these do. Also, I think that I uh, didn't mean to bump into you there. Yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, I think the clip of these got deleted. I'm really sad. I'm not picking these up. They're falling apart. Uh, but Marvel Vans, this would have been a good pickup in good condition, even at $17, but gotta leave behind. So I was looking up comps on the rainbow sandals and the sell through rate on eBay isn't like stellar. I think there was like 200 listed and 70 some sold, but they, there is a bunch of sales between like 20 and $30 plus shipping. So I'll probably pick those up for six. And then I also ran back through and found a few more pairs of shoes. Um, I grabbed these Crocs, the like fur line mules. They're only seven bucks. It's a good price for Crocs. Um, found some kids vans. Um, they are a little dirty. Need a little magic eraser to the uh, midsoles, but they were only six bucks. Carly found some Pyrex. You think somebody just like scrubbed the crap out of that? Probably. That's so sad. And they still and want they still want, they still want six dollars for it. <laughs> oh hey honey, look what I found. Some false graph. 
Oh wow, you found a lot. <laughs> the price point not that bad. 599. It goes pretty fast in my booth. Uh, not five dollars for. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the teacups are gonna yeah, be quite worth it. How was your first stop, Mrs. Carly? Long and tired. Long and tired. Long and tired. All right, so I ended up picking up 17 pairs of shoes and I had a $6 discount. I'm gonna go on a rant real quick. I need to sit down. Our Goodwills are generous enough to add, to give us $5 off our purchase after spending $200. I know, that's just like, they're getting stuff for free. You can't imagine them be able to profit giving us $5 after spending 200. And she just told me that they expire in a few days. Don't ask, why would it why would it make sense for December 3rd if Dece you're local December 3rd you got to use up your points makes no sense thank you Goodwill Central Florida you guys are the best business <laughs> I and I know but anyway back to what I got um you guys seen everything I picked up so I'm not gonna go over all that but again I paid twenty dollars for some Allen Edmonds and paid up for a few other things like I paid thirteen dollars for some vans and still managed to keep everything under ten dollars per pair we're gonna go to another Goodwill Carly's gonna tap out I guarantee you in the middle of the next store calling it right now we're gonna pop into another store did i scare you no we are back to your favorite goodwill goodwill grand opening if you guys haven't caught that video i'll link that up in the, the corner of the screen up here somewhere because i love plugging my own videos but um surprisingly the prices have been really good at this one compared to other ones in the area you can still find good shoes here under ten dollars which i was surprised considering they just opened and during the opening they were pricing at like 20 20 plus and I expected that to stay that way. But we've had luck the past two times we've been here. I'm shooting for 13 pairs. That'll put me at 30 on the day. Carly needs 67 <laughs> pieces of clothing. He's kidding. Um, but this is probably gonna be the last stop of the day. So hopefully we can end with a bang. <laughs> All right, have fun. Color leaks blue. <laughs> These Sam Edelman's are cute. 26 bucks. He's a chip first class. That wouldn't be too bad. Seven bucks, generic Nikes. I don't know. It's kind of dirty. Just a basic model. Paint's missing on those. Tom's for five. Probably not just a basic color like that. Oh, these look a little too dirty. Some vans. Ooh. Last last place prices vans at 13. 10, that's not bad. Eight bucks for some Clarks. A little custom action on these bad boys. Minnetonka is not a terrible brand. They're only $4.50. Um, I need to look up this model, but give it a shot. These towels. Taos. What are these? What are these? No. Easy spirit. It's completely missing the tread on the bottom. At knees, $8.99. It's probably better in men's, and they are kind of a small, well, they're not too bad, but they are cracking on the back. More BZs, got some of these at the last stop, and only eight bucks, not bad. Got some Prestos, got a hole in the toe, so. Still not worth grabbing for 450. A few Metcons, someone taped up the back. So, it's gonna be a no for me. Six, jumping this, five bucks. Uh, still look like hairs, just looks like fuzz. And then these Nikes for 10, a little too worn. Well, just seen that little hole right there, so. Never mind. Got some Harajis. The 10. Eh, not too bad. I'll stick it in the cart, go over it later. Some Crocs, seven bucks. These are nice. How much? 10 bucks. That's not bad. These Converse are in really good condition. Those look like they're in terrible condition. Nikes aren't bad. Just a generic model, but what's that? Six bucks after the half off? Some Tevas for like 350. These will go first class. Nine bucks, Flamingo Vans, Van Doren. I have sold these, this print of Skechers in the past before, but I don't know, I don't wanna pay 10 bucks for them because I think I only sold them for like 25 plus shipping. Merinos, I feel like I should look this up. It's a really lightweight, but I think they might, I think they might be designed to be lightweight. It just looks familiar. Do a little research. Some dance goes. A little too much wear on the bottom. Some new balances, missing insoles. And only five bucks. I'm sure I have some insoles to put in these. Meh, nah, toes are kind of dirty. Probably pass. Got some more Clarks Cloud Steppers. These ones are also only five. Probably grab those for five. Clarks are definitely a slower seller, but 
You can eventually hold out for a higher price, especially the, the cloud steppers line of them. They do decent. Ooh, how much do these are? 15. This bubble's popped. Coming apart. Rip. This would have been a good find. These ultras are pretty nice. They're half off. I feel like I get oxyclean these. But I probably should. Some Kohans, half off. Too much wear. I think these were here last time I was here. Some more call Hans right here. 20. These would be 10. It's probably worth grabbing for 10. Stay nice. It's probably a little too much. They're pretty faded on the top. Oh, I got some fly nets down here. These are in great condition. 16 bucks. They're huge though. What size are they? Well, men's 13 is not bad. I'd probably grab these in this condition for that. Just some more ultras. These ones are in a lot better condition and they're half off. That's nice. I'll take that. Colhom loafers. All leather. Ten bucks. It's not bad. Some more Colhom. Toes are kind of... Eh, not in the best condition. Those have been worn quite a bit. Alright, these are really dirty, but I think that a Magic Eraser will clean these up pretty well. And they are a big enough youth size that I can sell them as women's, so six and a half wide, that would be a women's size eight. So, I think I'm going to get those. Jordan, Mars, something. Alright, I don't think we need to all go through these shoes again. Also, I don't, before I turn this off, I didn't, I wasn't recording when I picked these up. These things are wild. I don't know what they're supposed to be. A little dinosaur action on these vans. I think they're sick. Do you think they're sick? Unfortunately, both of these fans, these are kind of like stained or faded on the toe, and these ones are just discolored. So both of them are getting put back. And not the dinosaur ones, I know. And these Clarks, I just don't want to pay $8 for these. It's only like a $20 sale plus shipping. So that's that. But I think I hit my uh, 13 pair mark. Right before we went to check out, I noticed they were putting out some more shoes, and luckily I ran back through. I found some on clouds for $13. It's a great find. Got some more Adidas, just some generic like Alpha Bounces or something. Oh, Edge Lux for 10 bucks. Got these Puma Ignites. They are kind of expensive. They're 13, but like I don't know. They're just clean, ready to list. Probably not the most profitable pickup, but like I said, it's gonna take two seconds to get those listed. Um, some more just generic Adidas for nine bucks. Um, another pair of just generic Adidas. These ones just slip on, same model, for nine bucks as well. These Sorels were pretty crazy. These were 13, I'm happy to pay up for those. Got um, some Pumas, these ones were 13 as well. These were, in, were brand new, still have like the inserts and everything. Um, so paid up a little bit there. Got some Ortho Feet for 10. And these Lacoste sneakers, I never sold Lacoste. I don't know how to verify if these are real or not. Gonna have to do some research, but they were $14. Gonna take a shot on them. Oh, Carly also found, found some- I found Sam and Gigi sandals, you missed. I missed some Gigi sandals. They're half off, five bucks. All right, so with that stop, I got 27 pairs paid $276.06. So basically right at, right at $10 a pair, but but as we were leaving, I noticed some more shoes on the uh, the shelves, and right before I checked out, they were putting shoes out, and I grabbed some on clouds. So they might be putting some more good stuff out. So we're headed back inside to get some more shoes. All right, so they didn't restock as much as I thought. We got one pair of shoes, this one right here. That Car I might keep if they fit. <laughs> Carly's probably gonna end up keeping them. She gets first dibs for everything. Pink, they're, they're right up her alley. But luckily they were free. I spent enough money the first go around back to our Goodwill Rewards program that I got a free pair of shoes. So that's nice. So I made the prediction that Carly was gonna tap out halfway through that stop. Did you tap out halfway? I did not tap out. She made it all the way through. Do you wanna go to another thrift store? Sure. Also Chick fil A. Huh. I'm kidding about going to another thrift store. We're wrapping it up here. We probably will go get Chick fil A because that sounds pretty yummy. Yeah, we gonna... passed one. Dang. Yeah, we're gonna get some Chick fil A. We uh, did. We did get Chick fil A, and that made me forget completely about this YouTube video. I didn't record an outro, so here I am as I'm editing the video. Again, I wanted to reiterate earlier in the video, I mentioned the Black Friday sale I did on my shoe trees. It did end on Monday, so you did miss out on that. But for the next 10 days, I will have that coupon code late to the party available on my website. Again, you can use that code for 20% off 
all shoe tree orders, but if that order goes past $50, you will get 30% off the entire order. So go ahead and if you haven't picked up any shoe trees and you've been meaning to, go ahead and hit that link down in the description below. Pick those up today. If you like today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified next time I post a video like this one. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one.